Okay, so the three squirrels, Annie, Aunt Asia, and Eli, have ten nuts all together. So, they all have a different number of nuts, but at least they have two. Okay? So, Annie has the least number of nuts, and Asia has the most nuts. So, we all know that they have at least two. So, if Eli can't have one, that, because that's what we're looking for, Eli. So, Eli can't have one because she, ha she has to have at least two. So, what about answer choice B? Okay, so if Eli has two nuts, then then Asia, who has the least number of nuts, has to have two or one because she can't have zero. But anyway, it can't be one because they all have these two. And it can't be two because they all have a different number of nuts. So that's wrong. So let's see three. So if Eli has three nuts... Annie can have two or one nuts. And and if Annie does have two nuts, that'll be equal five nuts. And if Asia has five nuts, then altogether that'll equal ten, which is going to be correct. So you want to make sure you have that written down somewhere. Just remember that. So C is a pretty good answer. Now, four. So if, if Eli has four nuts, then... Let's just pretend Annie has three. All right, that's seven. But then Asia has to have three in order for that to equal ten. But again, Asia has the most. She can't be the one. So answer choice D does not work. So what if, what if Eli has five nuts? This one is the easiest because, again, to equal ten, five plus five, Asia has to have more than Eli. So it can't be it. So the answer choice is obviously C. So make sure you guys write that down. Answer choice C. Okay, now we're going to move on to number 14.